Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another one of our awesome tech videos. I am Paige Libert. I'm one of the consumer technology specialists here at Midcontinent Public Library. And today we're going to talk about scanning with QR codes. I don't know why I picked that particular title, but uh, scan me. Uh, so we're going to talk about working with QR codes uh, with mobile devices. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a mobile device. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of how you can scan from both an iPad and from a Google Pixel 3, so an iPad Air 2, Google Pixel 3, but it works about the same on almost all major mobile device brands. Uh, you'll need something that can read a QR code. So there are QR code reader and barcode reader apps out there. A lot of times they're kind of the same app. So if you have an older device that doesn't have the camera capabilities to, to do the, that scan of the QR code on its own, um, you may need an app to download. Um, a lot of times you're going to need internet access because QR codes themselves are just a kind of unique barcode for a link. Um, so a lot of times businesses and organizations use these QR codes as a quick scan way to get you a link without having to just kind of type out the link for you to see uh, and type in yourself. It's just a quick scan take, and then you can just take it right to the link. And then if you are going to be using the Wi-Fi at our branches or the computers at our branches, you may need your access pass and PIN, which is your library card number, and then your eight-digit birth date, which is, is your PIN. So uh, with that, let's go take a look at how to do this. So for those of you who are Android users, this may or may not be a familiar background to you. Uh, well, probably not. It's a lovely stream in Colorado. But the kind of interface. So this is the Google Pixel interface. A lot of Androids have a similar interface. In the bottom right hand corner, I have my camera. And so to if you come across a QR code, I know a lot of restaurants right now, if you're going in, that's kind of how they're doing their menu. You're not always getting a paper menu or that old laminated menu. Now there's just a little thing on your table with a QR code on it that says use this to get to our menu. So knowing how to use these QR codes is becoming more and more important. So on most Android devices, you'll be able to just open up your camera. You can see there's my popcorn. <laughs> and then you can just sort of point it at it and you can see right there, the YouTube link popped up. So that's actually where this QR code is going. You don't have a lot of time, that or I have really shaky hands, but you don't really have a lot of time before that goes away. Now with most, a lot of Google phones and with some uh, other, Android devices, sorry, you have an option to use Google Lens, uh, which is what I'm going to do right here. So Google Lens, and it kind of does the same thing, but it brings it up. It's much larger and uh, it stays for a lot longer. So if I just tap on that, it's going to take me, and that's what this link was for the QR code. So it's going to take me right there, linked me out to a um, YouTube playlist. So now I can go to my heart's content from there. So that's kind of how it works on an Android device. Now here we are on my iPad. So this is an iPad Air 2. Uh, I have not updated to iOS 15, so this one is still on iOS 14. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, that 15 is not going to change how the camera functions in this way, at least when it comes to scanning QR codes. So again, uh, to scan that QR code, I'm just gonna open up my camera app down here. And then immediately it zoomed in on it and you can see right here I got a little alert that says open YouTube for Safari. So it's going to think. And then loading. <laughs> it takes a while to load because it's going through Safari and it's a huge playlist. Uh, so you can see there's 109 vid 95 videos in here. So just a few. Uh, so it takes a little while to load in. But that's how it works. So if you were to do that for a uh, restaurant you're trying to get into a restaurant using that QR code into their menu, uh, same thing is going to work up. You'll get that little pop-up in the top of your window or of your screen that's going to tell you loosely where the QR code is taking you. A lot of times it's going to go to something like Menufy or the restaurant's website, something along those lines. Uh, and then that'll be what you just do. That's just how you can scan it. Now, if you have an app on your device, it's going to work almost the exact same way. You're just going to open up that app just like I did the camera. It'll give you like a little box that you can scan. So you can see that it has a little yellow lines around it. It's gonna give you a little box and try and, you have to try and center it in there. Thankfully, 
the iPad does a lot of the work for you, which is nice. But on those apps, you may have to be trying to kind of center that in the box, almost like if you're trying to do a mobile deposit for your checks or something for your bank. Uh, it works kind of similarly. But that's really all it is. QR codes are uh, really easy to work with. All right. That's it. <laughs> so that's QR codes. Uh, they are, like I said, pretty easy to work with. There's not a lot of uh, know-how that needs to be involved. If you want to create your own, um, just do a quick internet search for QR code generators. There's tons of free ones out there um, that you can just choose from. You usually just have to use a link and then it generates a little QR code for you. Some of them even give you cute little frames to let you do designs around them. Uh, but they are really not super complicated. Um, very easy to scan. You can scan them using almost every mobile device. Uh, either with an older app or just using the camera, which is super handy. Uh, so if you like this video, we'd love it if you join us for our future videos and check out all of our past videos. We do premiere new videos every Tuesday at 2, every Wednesday at 1, and every Friday at 1. Those premieres show up on both Facebook and YouTube, so just search for us there. On YouTube, we are MCPL Mo, and then on Facebook, we are MCPL 360. And yeah, thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.